Hi lovelies! I have a review um, on my previous video I said I would review Diva Curl. Um, I bought, I did go, they had it at a store in the mall called Blooming, Blooming Beauty. So I ended up buying, I bought the big sizes, I'm, I'm one of those people, I'm guilty of that. Instead of just buying like a smaller size to see if I'm even going to like the product, I always buy the really big one. Figure, you know, you know, natural girl, you can never have enough conditioner. So that's always my logic. So I bought the really huge sizes, but I bought the no poo. And I bought the one condition. I'll start with the no poo. I really, really like the no poo. I think it's really good. Um, my hair felt clean, but it still felt like really soft. It felt conditioned, like, um... I feel like it was it felt really great after I rinsed it out after I was finished washing my hair with it it felt really good um, now could I use another conditioner a cheaper conditioner an easier conditioner to find a store bought conditioner yes I use Tresemme Naturals and I really like Tresemme Naturals it works just fine it doesn't have any silicones or parabens or sulfates or anything in it and it works good but I really like this my hair felt really good after I rinsed this out, after I used it, the big size in Blooming Beauty is $39.99. So they were $39.99 a piece. That's pretty steep for this size. Um, Curl Mart is actually having a sale though on Diva Curl products. They're 20% off. This size on Curl Mart's website is $37 and some change. And then it's 20% off of that. So you do the math because I'm an English major. That's why I don't do math. But, um,. Yes, it's not a bad deal if you want to try them, if you want to get like a regular people size, like a normal person size, like, you know, size you probably should get when you've never used a product and you have no idea how it's going to work in your hair instead of buying the economy size like I did. I wouldn't recommend that. But, I mean, you know, you should give it a try. The no pool is excellent. Um, rent style easy, went on really smooth. Um, hair felt really good with it in. Hair felt really good once I rinsed it out. My scalp felt really clean. My hair felt clean, but it still felt soft and it felt, still felt kind of moisturized. Um, only thing I don't like about it is the smell. It has this really weird herbal lemongrass kind of smell, but if you like that kind of thing, then you'll love everything about this. No poo. Uh, I'll give it, you ready? I'll give it a five. I think this is the first five I've ever given a product when I've done a review. Um, I like pretty much everything about the no poo except for the smell. And I can get over the smell. Okay, well, maybe I'll retract my five since I don't like the smell. I'll give it a 4.8. Can you retract a score once you put it out there? I just took it back. I just took that back. I'll give it a 4.8 because I don't like the way it smells. The one condition. Don't. I don't know how I feel about this yet. Um. My hair didn't feel dry after I used it, but it didn't really feel, didn't really feel any type of way. Like I wasn't, it didn't really feel that moisturized. I had a little bit of trouble detangling my hair and I normally never have a lot of trouble detangling my hair, but I had a little bit of trouble detangling my hair. It's in, it doesn't, it didn't have enough slip for me. Um, and of course the smell, it smells almost exactly the same as a no poo. Blah, I don't like the smell. Um, I don't want to give up on it just yet because I really wanted to work so I added some oil I added some coconut oil to it and some olive oil so I'll try it again sometime in the near future and see how I like it but I didn't really like the no the one condition I'm thinking you know companion product with the no poo should be really good should be an awesome time washing and conditioning I didn't like the one condition um yeah, I don't have any. I don't have anything to say about it really, other than whatever. It was kind of lame. It was kind of whack, and uh, yeah, I didn't really enjoy it too much. I wasn't. Yeah, I wasn't really feeling it. But I love the no poo. So I mean, if you're in the market for a conditioner, wash conditioner, and you want to be fancy and not just go to Walmart and buy some Tresemme Naturals or probably some Aussie Moist or something like that. You could, or mane and tail, I like mane and tail too. You could um, get the Diva Curl No Poo, and it is awesome. The one condition, I didn't like it personally. I don't feel personally that it really did anything for me. I wasn't really ringing my bells, ring-a-ding-ding, didn't do that for me, but it might work for you. So you never know, you know. 
Oh, and I bought some henna. I haven't used it yet, but I bought some. Hold up. I bought this kind of henna, whatever kind of henna this is. Um, and the powder. So I bought some. I bought a lot of boxes. I'm, I always go overboard. I can never just buy like one or two things. That's how I am. And I bought some Amla powder too to mix with my henna. So they had this there also. So I'll be using this. I'm going to get a recipe from somewhere and use those. And I know I went crazy, didn't I? I bought something else. I bought the Bedhead Moisture Maniac. I've been hearing people say that this is really good and everybody keeps raving about it and I wanted to try it too so I bought this so I'll do a review on this soon too along with my henna um smells when I tell you this smells good that is not an exaggeration it smells fantastic that's how this smells it smells like just fruit goodness it smells awesome um and it looks really thick I'll show you guys the consistency of it it's like pretty good thick conditioner and looks still around the rim. So I'm excited to try this one. It has a whole nother consistency than the no than the one condition. And I just wipe that in there, you know. But anyway, that's it for right now. Um I'll be back with another hair tutorial soon. I haven't really been doing my hair, it's been in a bun. And it's been in some little twists. So um, when I get around to really styling it, I'll do another style tutorial. It'll probably be a flat twist updo. So until then, you're gorgeous. And I hope you have a great day. Bye!